What's up, my peoples? How we doing again? Video number two for tonight. <clears throat> um, got a little. <clears throat> got a question on. Well, it's a two-parter, but it's about the moon. What's the purpose of the moon? How did it get there? And any other mysteries I may be able to find. So let's start with that. And then the second part has to do with our space friends. There was a question on Sheila that we didn't get to when we did our Sunday thing. And I told her I'd take it. It was kind of strange. <clears throat> it had to do with Twitler and uh, aliens and something else. I'll have to look at it in the text screenshot to figure that out. But let's go with the moon. Why is the moon there? And its purpose, and how did it get there? Feeling it, it's like it's got its purpose for um, gravity and source of rotation. It's kind of like how it had to be to, to provide continuity to Earth. always circular so that would mean it was never part of like a comet or something that broke off and just stopped there is also metaphysical properties to the moon healing, centrification, like <clears throat> like uh, balance, <clears throat> the radiation, it emits, creates balance and off balance of people vibrationally affecting so, and I'll provide links I think because I did a video on how the earth was created or you can look back how life was created and how the solar system was created and a lot of that came back to a higher source bigger than God that created it all
the first card is the tower. To me, that is feeling like at times it can create imbalance. with the energy it emits. Force cut. But it's also a growth card. So there's two aspects. Four of Wands. It could uh, set back and make you withdraw. Page of Wands. It's a messenger. It has the ability to send messages. Happy messages. Page of coins. It has the ability to send gifts. Ten of Cups. The moon has the ability to send happy thoughts. Knight of Cups. The energy of the moon gives intelligence. Emits intelligence. The Empress, the moon emits feminine loving energy. Two of Wands, it creates a partnership with Earth and the moon. Although there's no significant life, there's a force metallic force like the rock and whatnot or magnetic. that helps keep it keep it where it is but also emits vibrations hmm the devil at certain periods it does create chaos when you hear of you know, full moon. <laughs> the old uh, werewolf theory. Oh, I just messed up my cards. Also with the devil... I feel like it can admit, emit chance, luck.
page of cups. At times the moon is helpful. Brings sources of new emotions, new feelings, new um, what do you want to call it? New breaks, restarts in your life at certain times. Various arts. At other times of positioning, it brings heartbreak. So the moon has dual purposes. Depending on the positioning, I guess that would make sense with astrology where planets align and the moon aligns and huh. six of cups the moon helps bring back emotions and memories and feelings of the past The Emperor. I heard courage. The moon can help give you courage and strength and ability to move forward. The hermit. The moon sometimes puts you in a position where you need to step back and relax, reevaluate. Huh. So strange. So many aspects. I'm not really feeling that there's actual life on the moon. I don't know. There's been talk that there might be water sources there or has been. What do the cards say? Is there life on the moon? I'm getting no. I'm getting no, that there's no life on the moon. Okay. Ace of Swords, a new beginning. Queen of Wands, the mother and nurturer. of wands energetic steps knight of swords hmm. knight of swords avoid overreactions Um, strength card. Hmm. Not sure about that one yet. King of Cups. That's the fatherly figure. Death. Justice. 
balancing the scales. The feminine there in justice is blinded. And then we have the moon. Ace of Wands, New Beginnings. A lot of these cards are positive. It's more feeling like there at one time was life, but it wasn't sustainable. And that maybe someday people may live on the moon. Yes, and then we have the Six of Swords moving up there. Three of Wands taking on those challenges. Um, King of Swords, someone wanting to create this. Ten of Coins, someone with money. Devil Greedy. And the Knight of Cups taking those challenges head on. And creating it so long long time ago there might have been some life but it doesn't feel like human it may have been microscopical but I think it died it feels like it died out <clears throat> like it wasn't sustainable but in the future it kind of looks like we may have some people living there you know, like a experimental colony or something. All right. I'm going to pause this quick and go to look this text up, this screenshot. Oops. Okay. Susan Bain sent this about a reader she tuned into she says that ETs are working with our government to help the kids in cages get released liberate the knowledge of underground bunkers and Twiddler Twitler has been on the plan for this for 10 to 12 years mass arrests are happening and ascension in, for all humanity in the fifth dimension. From this point, uh, all people solidly stuck in 3D. Hmm. All right. Our extraterrestrials working within our current government. I'm hearing now. I've always gotten a felt that ETs have the greater good, not the greater bad, which currently is going on. Let's see what the cards have to say about ET working with the government. ETs working with the governments. If anything, I feel that ETs are working with the good guys. Page of Wands. There's your ET messengers. Seven of Coins, working on things, hard work, careful planning. King of Wands, they're family type people. Six of Cups. Memories, growth from past mistakes. So they see what we've done and what bad things have happened. The Emperor, hmm. 
bad mistakes from our emperor. Yep, I'm wrong. Um, two of wands is some teamwork going on. The hermit. Three of swords. That's your heartbreak. No, the Jesus. I gotta figure out how to stop notifications. Um, this is telling me the ETs are helping get rid of our emperor to make him a hermit, heartbreak to rid the devil. Knight of Cups, charging in with proper emotions, giving, giving intelligence. The Moon, they're doing it secretly. Um, with the Fool, to make Twiddler, Twiddler, move on. And uh, the Seven of Wands. Because there's a lot of trouble brewing. A lot of trouble going on. And helping with judgment on Twitler. So. No. Our ET friends are the good guys. So, first thing this Chandler that Susan mentioned about is out there farther than Pluto. Are our ET friends helping to expose things that are being hidden about them? Our ET friends helping to expose things hidden on the planet about them. I'm hearing not yet. Hey, am I upside down? No, that one was upside down for some reason. Um, Six of Wands was upside down. So that's a non-victory. That's holding back. Must have been for a reason, because everything else is straight up. Hmm. Ace of Cups. They're just sending love. Uh, Five of Swords. It'd be too much of a burden right now. Too much of a struggle, too much of a burden, too much chaos to be exposed. Ah, uh, three of coins, they're working on it. There's little tidbits coming out. The sun, it will be illuminated at some point. Page of Wands, they're bringing messages. Eight of Swords. Quick journey card. Yeah, they're fast. Hmm. Knight of Coins. There are materials coming out once in a while. <laughs> Nine of Wands. Searching for trust. Wheel of Fortune, your fate. In due time, it will happen. The tower, there will be an ending. The Five of Wands, determination. Kind of a mob mentality. This is kind of mixed. 
just like they want to, but the timing is not right. They're overseers of the world. The burdens of the world are on their two. There's your two of cups. Your loving partnership. Friend, friendships. King of cups. All they want is love for us. Improvement. Six of coins. They always bring balance. Uh, knowledge. Help. Same as the angels. King of coins is very powerful. Um, this king of coins, and it's, I know it's hard to see with the darkness, but he, he's looking up in the sky with that one coin, that one abundance. Yeah. Every once in a while I get a card. You know, this is a five, five of coins. We're not quite ready. Not quite ready to completely know the truth. And next. Is Twitler. <laughs> Makes no sense because he doesn't list to himself, but is 45, Mr. Twitler. Does he have knowledge of the ascension of ETs? Does 45 have knowledge of the ascension of ETs? He only cares about his bottom dollar. He doesn't believe in spirits, let alone ETs. If he did get a briefing on it, he'd be like, yeah, whatever. Give me a Big Mac. Seven of Swords. That's the tricks. The scheming. Working on things. No. All he cares about is his, his bottom dollar. Uh, two of Wands. There's a teamwork. We'll see. Uh, the Lovers. King of Coins. No, he only cares about money. That's his only partnership. Lovers of money. Five of Coins. Right now he's going broke. Uh, seven of Cups. A lot of mixed emotions. Um, seven of Cups can also mean investigations. He's hoping to get out of that situation. Yeah, this is right behind the loss of money. So he's hoping to find a way out of money. Um, then we have the Queen of Cups behind that. Um, he's trying to use the United States. Four of Wands. He has to retreat. Five of Cups, bad emotions coming in. Ace of Coins, new materials are coming in. Not favorable to him because it's right behind bad emotions. Another Ace, Ace of Swords, a new beginning. Four of Cups, he's going to be emotionally retreating. Nine of coins.
Material Achievement and Success. Some documents or materials are coming to the forefront because this is right after him emotionally retreating and new stuff coming in with material and actions. And then we have a Queen of Wands, Nancy Pelosi, Mother Russia, Empress. Um, it's a three, so Russia, China. Either Israel or Turkey. There's a three going on here. Page of Cups. New skills, something helpful. Seven of Coins about business arrangements. We have the Fool's New Journey about a partnership. Four of Swords. There's some discourse, there's some conflicting retreating. There's some arguments, ten tensions. And then we have the Hierophant, the government coming in um, to be a judge. Yes, judge. Temperance, holding steady, good information. And then, what is it, wands? Six of wands, victory. So I'm asking if he knows about aliens, ET friends, and it flips to, they're helping us. So he leaves. I get the same stuff when I ask if he's leaving soon. Investigations. Something coming out. Victory. Retreating. Emotionally retreating. The fool's journey. Moving on. Got the government. Empress. Stuff about other overseas. And here's your six of coins. Your loans. Debts. Cosigners. Yeah. Something's coming out. It comes up every time I read on Donald, pretty much. Something's coming up about his connections overseas, the finances, the documents of something that he has loans with. <laughs> Thank you, space friends. They want to tell us something. Yeah, so Susan Bame. That channeler is full of doo doo. Eh. Eh. That person's psycho. She hopped on the wrong train when she went upward. No. Ah, uh, anything else in this? Oh, might as well. Uh, is this an ascension into the fifth dimension? And people are stuck in 3D. What do you think? Is there an ascension to a fifth dimension? And we're stuck in a 3D reality.
with some secrets. The Emperor. Uh, the Moon. Secrets. Secrets about the presidency. Um, the Fool's Journey. Knight of Swords, Investigators charging in, Two of Wands, Teamwork, The Lovers, about Six of Cups, Wishing Things the Way They Were, The Hermit, Stepping Back from the Current Position, Eight of Wands, it's coming quickly. Three of Wands, possibly an overseas trip. Strength card. Overseas trip, strength, that's a plan. Four of Wands, needing to retreat. Five of Cups. Emotionally distraught. Ace of coins. Powerful information come to the forefront. <laughs> New beginning. For everything's come up the same. I did shuffle, right? This is the same as the last reading. This fifth dimension, this new reality is Trump leaving. Nine of coins balancing all the money. <sighs> Queen of Swords, Wands, Nancy Pelosi, Empress Russia. I did shuffle it. <sighs> Trump's ready to bug out. Bless you, thank you, love you. Thanks for being here, supporting me. I support you. Peace.